Well, hey there guys, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about a particularly serious scam that's been plaguing China lately, and it's called the Pengzi or Broken Vase Scam. So what is the broken vase scam? Well, let me show you a, a little video clip and then I'll explain. <laughs> now this particular scam is uh, absolutely despicable. It makes my blood boil and has had an incredibly negative effect on uh, Chinese society in general. I'm going to talk a little bit about that later. But let's first of all try and explain what was happening in that little video clip. So what you saw in that video clip was an elderly person deliberately trying to get hit and injured. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's a car, a person on a bicycle, or even just someone tripping them up. Uh, this is a very common occurrence these days where you've got these absolutely despicable old people, elderly people, uh, with no scruples, trying on purpose to get fake injured in order to claim compensation from their victims or whoever it is that hits them. And the real upsetting and sad part of it all is most of the time they do end up succeeding in getting compensation. Uh, probably down, down to the fact that Chinese society reveres elders, um, it's usually their word against whoever it is that uh, has hit them. And they go to court and they end up getting a lot of money. So basically suing them for injuring them whereas it's entirely their own fault and they're doing it on purpose. This has led to some very, very negative effects, like I said, on Chinese society as a whole. Uh, let's get into that. Now, there have been a couple of times uh, here in China where I've been walking along and I noticed there's somebody in need of help, uh, even if it's someone just lugging a very heavy suitcase or someone who's uh, injured or, you know, crashed their bicycle or something and they're kind of lying around and nobody goes near them they avoid them like the plague literally it's like Moses parting parting the sea you know people just scatter and they don't go near the person who is fainted or whatever and it always worried me and irked me because you know where I'm from if someone is in need you help them and I have helped quite a few people who've been struggling and uh, you know they're very grateful but I wondered what could be causing this problem. Like, why are people not helping each other out? And it kind of infuriates me that people would just leave someone who's, you know, hurt or passed out. And then I started noticing all these uh, things appearing in the news. It's been going on for years now, of course. It's not a recent thing. Where, for instance, somebody fainted in the, in the subway station and people sort of stepped around them and avoided them for an hour and they actually died because they needed medical attention and uh, they didn't get it and I couldn't understand what was going on and then things started to make sense sorry wait for that, that noisy bus things started to make sense when I started hearing stories about people helping these so-called injured people and then getting sued it's a very very famous one about an old woman in a village in a rural part of China who fell down while she was walking and some of the local village children, I think four or five of them, really young children, I think they're like six years old, six, seven years old, came to help her and lift her up. And they helped her, they lift her, lifted her up and took her to uh, her house or whatever. And she ended up suing the children, like all five of them, for damages, saying that they are the ones who knocked her over and injured her. And uh, it came to light that there were actually eyewitnesses who'd watched the whole thing, who came forward and, you know, proved that no, the children had actually helped her. And so you see, it's kind of warped society in a way where if you see especially an elderly person in trouble here on the streets, people won't go near them because they're worried that these unscrupulous, horrible old uh, tricksters are going to basically sue them for a lot of money and compensation. There's another famous recent case where uh, an el elderly lady, like on purpose, as a college student was cycling past her, sort of launched herself into the cyclist's path. In fact, if I can dig up a video, I'm going to show you here. I'm going to pop it up. If I don't, just try and try and look it up online. And uh, once again, said that she rode into her and tried to sue her 
But there were lots of eyewitnesses and it was on camera and everyone was saying, no, she didn't. You, you fell in front of her and she was angry with everyone that didn't agree with her. Anyway, she almost got away with it. In fact, she would have if it wasn't for the surveillance footage. Um, so yes, if you think this isn't a widespread problem, think again. It really is. In fact, it's so widespread that I read in the news today that one of China's leading insurance companies has recently released an insurance policy specifically for helping elderly people. It's some, I don't know the exact wording for it, but it basically is insurance that guards you against helping elderly people. So if you help an elderly person with the right intentions and they sue you, now you can be insured against it. That's how bad it's gotten. So uh, the saying around here in China goes basically that uh, it's not that old people are bad, it's just that bad people have gotten old. And it's true. So my advice, and I know it sounds strange, but if you want to help an elderly person in China who seems to be in distress, first take a photo, um, you know, before you touch them. Or even better, record it on your cell phone while you help them. Uh, it's ridiculous, it sounds absolutely out of this world and, and stupid and inhumane, but unfortunately that's how bad it is. Now this scam, to be honest, doesn't affect foreigners too much, but it does and it has. There are cases of it happening, and especially with the language barrier, there's no way you're going to get out of it. Uh, uh, you'll never be able to explain your way out of it. They're, they'll always take the side of the elderly person. So if you see someone in distress, help them. I'm not saying don't help them. I always do. I always help them. It's, it's basic humanity. Don't, don't let your humanity fall away from you. But take precautions. Take a photo. Record it. You know, of course, if there's time, if it's a you know, really uh, urgent thing, you probably better just help them anyway. But that's something you should look out for. Anyway, guys, I don't want to be doom and gloom. This is a, a fairly large generalization. Not everybody who's old in China is a horrible, wicked person like that. But there is a, a large percentage of uh, elderly folk who will try and trick you here. So be careful of that. And um, yeah, I guess that's it for this rather uh, strange and, and disturbing topic. Until next time, guys, as always, don't let the horrible old folk get you down and uh, stay awesome.